All right. Um, let's have a look at question number three. We had to factorize here. So what do we notice? How many terms do you see? So now, remember terms are separated by the plus or the minus sign. So this is the plus sign that separates these two terms here. Even though there's a minus sign here, that's x minus 2, the fact is that x squared is being multiplied by x minus 2. So this whole first part here is regarded as term 1, and this will be term 2. So therefore, what do you notice? This is x minus 2, and this is 2 minus x. It's not common at the moment. But what we can do here is, we can manipulate this in order to make 2 minus x become x minus 2, or you could make x minus 2 become 2 minus x. Let's choose the first option that I mentioned. Okay, so here this is x squared times x minus 2. I'm leaving it as it is. Now here, the trick is to take out negative 1 as a common factor. So, if I pull out negative 1 as a common factor, what will happen now? The signs will change. So, originally this was a plus 2. It will become minus 2. This is a minus x. It will become plus x. You can check. You must check each step of the way. So, here, if I multiply back a negative 1 times a negative 2 will be positive 2. Negative 1 times a positive will be a negative. So now, what I can do here is, there's my x squared times x minus 2. So I've got a positive times a negative here, so that will become a negative 1. And then minus 2 plus x is the same as x minus 2. I'm just rearranging the positions here. I am not changing the sign. It's still positive x, positive x, negative 2, negative 2. So what you notice now is that x minus 2 is common. So you can see uh, these two here, that is common. x minus 2 is common, so therefore you can take out x minus 2 as a common factor. So if I take pull out x minus 2, I open up my bracket. So remember I, move, I removed I pulled out x minus 2 as a common factor, so what's left here is x squared. I remember x minus 2 is here, so now what's left here is minus 1. Now, we factorized, but check, is it possible to factorize any further? Yes, we got x squared minus 1. Now, x squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares. It's in the form a squared minus minus b squared, which is the same as a minus b, a plus b. So in this case, we have x squared minus 1 squared. So my a is x and my b is 1. So if I factorize this, the difference of two squares will always have a minus and a plus there. So therefore, x squared minus 1 squared, x squared minus 1 squared is the same as x minus 1 x plus 1. Remember, 1 squared is equal to 1. 1 to the power 5 is equal to 1. 1 to the power anything basically is equal to 1. So, this cannot be factorized any further. These are our prime factors. Okay.